programming made possible by Louisville Water. Quality water, quality of life. Louisville Water has over 150 years of experience in the science of water. Learn the history behind every glass at the Waterworks Museum, located inside Louisville Water's 1860 original pumping station. off the Ohio River onto Beargrass Creek. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about this waterway. Well, first, welcome to Beargrass Creek. It's urban paddling, you know, urban paddling in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And Beargrass Creek is the main urban stream here in Louisville. Drains about 67 square miles, three main forks, the Muddy Fork, the Middle Fork, and the South Fork. And we're on the main stem. Actually, this is uh, a reconstructed part of the stream. In 1851, they dug a new stream. This is it right here. And so the old Beargrass Creek used to come out down by 2nd Street, right by Joe's Crab Shack. And so Beargrass Creek has been manipulated and changed and over the years uh, in many, many different ways. Yeah, right over here you can sort of see its old cutoff wall. And uh, so 1851, they started digging this to basically uh, drain downtown Louisville. Uh, over here on the right side, every piece of land in an urban area has history, and this was the most heavily developed area of all of Louisville. More people lived here per square inch than anywhere else in Louisville. And the 1937 flood came along and wiped it all out. After World War II, they came in, and this was the city dump for uh, probably 50 years. We just used the creeks as our sewers. This is what's called the combined sewer overflow. And so if you have your pipes fill up with storm water, there's no room for the sewage. And what happens is it backs up into people's houses. And people made the decision to, instead of having their sewers back up into your house, they created outfalls. And there's 137 of them uh, in our community. You know, in some ways you can look at it and you sort of say, you know, for almost three quarters of a million people, there's not much litter. And so, you know, I would, I'd think there'd be more litter. Now, a lot of it gets washed downstream to Paducah uh, or to the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and so, because that's where this water goes. structure behind me here? Well, this is the MSD Beargrass Creek Pumping Station, which is the beginning of the flood wall for the city of Louisville that protects us from the Ohio River floods. Oh, I think I was supposed to do an interview here. I thought somebody was here to interview me. Tell you what, I'll just do it myself. I'm Dane Anderson. I'm the Flood Protection Supervisor for MSD here in Louisville, Kentucky. We're looking at uh, eight flood pumps here, and in the center section you'll see our switch gear and motor control center, and we have uh, capabilities of pumping about 2.5 million gallons a minute, full capacity. Louisville and Jefferson County as a whole and the surrounding communities, we're basically sitting down in a bowl area, so like back in 1937, the whole city basically flooded and had to recede naturally back into the Ohio River. So back in the early 1940s, they started the United States Army Corps of Engineers built this 29-mile flood wall on Earth and Levee that protects the city now. So when the river raises up, we can shut off these flood protection systems, close the river off from us, protect the city, and then once that recedes, we can open everything back up and move the water back out into the Ohio River. Right now, the infrastructure is very extremely old. We're very undersized in certain areas, and a lot of the combined sewer systems, we just can't handle, even during minor rain sometimes, a tenth of an inch of rain can actually cause issues. So you think about all the systems inside the city that we're protecting, billions of dollars, all the community people that are here, the infrastructure, the tourism, and everything that's here in the city. I mean, it's a great responsibility. 
When this was built, it was the largest pumping station in the world. And uh, then they built on the other end of the flood wall, the second largest pumping station in the world. Well, for now, the sun is out. And that looks like maybe a solar panel up there. I'm Russ Barnett. I'm with the University of Louisville, and I am the director of the Kentucky Institute for the Environment and Sustainable Development. One of the projects here at the park is a water treatment plant on Beargrass Creek, uh, doing research on how can, can we treat water without using fossil fuels or any chemicals. Uh, what we're doing is mostly using solar power. We've uh, submerged a, a pump. Uh, it will pump water up to a storage tank where we're filtering, it's letting that uh, settle out any of the sediment. And then we're running it through uh, various filters and we're trying to doing research on different kinds of filters. Uh, after it goes through that, we're dumping it into a uh, waterfall uh, that we have constructed and we're using that waterfall to aerate the uh, waters. We've actually filtered the water and uh, uh, killed most of the bacteria. We are able to get about 90% uh, uh, efficiency rate. Well now, the water quality is improving, right David? Well, the water quality is improving from the past 50, 100 years for sure. I would still not drink this water directly. I would not swim in Beargrass Creek, but the water quality is getting better. And for the first time in a hundred years, making beer out of Beargrass Creek water. Well, I think I could really use a beer after this paddle. Go to Apocalypse Brew Works and uh, have some Beargrass Blonde. That's what they've named the new beer. of the show. It's been fun and cool. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Downstream. Programming made possible by Louisville Water. Quality water, quality of life. Louisville Water has over 150 years of experience in the science of water. Learn the history behind every glass at the Waterworks Museum, located inside Louisville Water's 1860 original pumping station.